Hi, I'm Tim Gibson and I'm going to talk to you about easy drywall repair. Now, as you can see here, we've got a vent that we've cut in, but we've had a little bit of extra cutting in the drywall that we've got to repair now. Now, whenever you have a crack like this in the wall, uh, that is something you're not just going to be able to, to mud in or fill in because it'll just come back and crack on you. So what we've got to do is we've got to tape that joint when we repair it. The easiest thing to use is a fiberglass mesh uh, tape and this is something you can pick up at any home improvement store or hardware store. It's, it's, a, it's a mesh tape that has a little bit of adhesive on the back. So we cut it to the length. We want to cut it just a little bit longer than the crack and then we just position it so it's centered over the crack and just take our hand and smooth it down and it will adhere there. Now once that's on there we can take our joint compound and we want to start out with about a two and a half or three inch knife and then we just want to put a coat over the top of this tape. Now, once we get the mud in place, then we want to smooth it. And what we'd go up to is a little bit wider, which is called a broad knife, and this is about a six inch broad knife. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to smooth this down. And don't worry if it comes up like that, because you can just go right back over it in the opposite direction. And as you can see, what we want to do is we want that to be a nice thin layer. Now don't worry about the tape still being exposed because what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for 24 hours and then we're going to come back and put another thin coat on. And the secret to repairing drywall and doing any kind of joint compound or mudding of drywall is to do thin layers. So you want to do set your tape, wait 24 hours, do another thin layer that's a little bit wider, wait 24 hours, then do another layer that's a little bit wider and wait 24 hours. At that point you can evaluate do you got it uh, smooth enough and the tape is hidden or do you need to do one more coat. Now eventually you should come up with a seam that is going to be about seven to eight inches wide. So which is wider than our six inch. So as we move up in coats we need to go to a wider and use a broad knife in this case a 10 inch broad knife to finish that off. Now if you'll do that, it's very easy to repair and to get a really good finish. Then all we got to do is come back and prime this area and repaint it and we're good to go. So I'm Tim Gibson and that's how to do an easy repair on drywall.